A failure to launch. This is a real problem for 20 somethings and their parents. National labor statistics show that COVID hit young workers the hardest with 41% unemployment in the hospitality industry last year, where most of them get their first jobs. And then there was the loss of internships when offices were shut down. In this week's Mom Squad Pod, we talked to Dr. Lucine Wisniewski about how this increased anxiety in young age groups is stressing out families. Well, I think that there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of behavioral indicators. So if you've got kids that are not moving forward on making decisions, who are dragging their feet, who are perhaps sleeping until two in the afternoon on the daily, um, who are, you know, ornery when you ask them about what their plans are, those can be signs that there's more going on here than just a pause after they've, you know, finished college and they're trying to get things together. But what about just even the, I don't even know if it's an anxiety, but, but the fear of leaving that comfort. You mentioned how close we are now to our kids and how kids are close to their parents. Parents don't cause this problem, right? But parents can be part of the solution. And one of the solutions that I talk to parents about is making things slightly less comfortable. I'm not, I'm not the kind of tough love parent that says, or psychologist that says, kick them out, you know? Because if they're stuck, they're probably stuck for a reason. And Lucene says parents can start to do things to make things a little less comfortable, not kicking them out, but like requiring your kids to take on major household chores or paying rent. And there are things that you can do while your kids are young to help their independence. She talks about that in the podcast. You can download it, Mom Squad Pod, any platform where you get your podcasts. And I told this story earlier in the five o'clock, but one of the things that she said, and it really hit home with me, was that when your kids are younger and they get their cell phones, you know, like your immediate reaction is if your kid's calling, pick up the phone, help them out right away. But she says, don't answer, wait 10 minutes, then call them back. And if there was a problem within that 10 minutes, they'll probably figure it out on their own or it'll help them start to think about it on their own That's rather than you swooping in and immediately helping them. Right. Which I'm the, I, I'm the swooper. Yes. Like oh, swoop. yeah. I like to swoop. I like this advice and I'm going to use it in everyday life and just not answer my phone and wait 10 minutes because I think that, <laughs> that could be something to right? use forward. But. Right. I, well, like, and that was the last we've heard from Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, Dave's going to be here at 6 oh, at six ten every morning, right. 5 10. Yeah. He'll show up. We'll figure it we'll out figure on our it own. Out somehow. <laughs> it's great advice, though. And I have no, to think, too, like, in, in, you know, when you went to college, I know a lot for me, it wasn't just the books, it was learning how to be yeah. time management. So right. the pandemic really put a crutch in that. It did. Yeah. yeah.